guys welcome back to my channel and today will be another DIY video in this video I am bringing you my monthly challenge for this month of August the theme was an inspired DIY challenge you could pick anything you would like uh, that is inspired you and either show us the video where you got it if it was from YouTube or uh, show us a picture from the Instagram, Facebook, or any other social media platform that you were inspired by a piece and decided to recreate it. So, for this month, my co-host is lovely Michelle from Michelle's Cozy Home. I'll insert it right here. Michelle is an amazing creator and become a dear friend. We have been um, exchanging messages, talking on the phone, and she's just a lovely lady, and I was honored she agreed to be my co-host for this month. So if you don't know who Michelle is or you have never seen her channel, everything will be linked in the description below, along with the playlist who is participating participating in this challenge so but for now let me tell you what I will be showing you today okay so for my inspiration I have two DIYs that I will show you I have been eyeing those two pieces for a while and I saved the videos because it is from YouTube from two lovely ladies um, I saved it in my watch later and I finally got to it because it's one of it is very special to me that I recreated because it is for somebody special. So the first piece I got it from Olivia's Romantic Home. She did it and I'm pretty sure she said it she got it from somebody else the idea but I was not sure. Uh, I don't really remember who she said, but I got it from her. And the video that I have been inspired will be linked in the description below. You can go check it out. I think it's turned out gorgeous, uh, fall, perfect for fall, and I couldn't believe it. Um, what, how easy and what easy, uh, not easy, I guess what affordable stuff she used and in my recreation i added a little bit of course i tweaked it some of some of the stuff in my style so this on the screen was her piece and i will show you at the end of this introduction or how i made my piece and what is it so the second one was from of course everybody know lovely Heidi Sambo and her channel is Heidi Sambo DIY. She did this uh, countdown birthday calendar in uh, farm style and I just fall in love with it because I got two kids and I had an amazing uh, idea that I am going to make it at least for one of it. So I can't show it to you right now because when I'm recording this uh, my son is awake and at school and I really don't want him to see it yet. So if the lighting is a little bit off in the video, this is because I recorded it on the middle of the night so he can see. And when I finished it, my daughter, my son turns 12 and my daughter turns 18. My daughter is October 1st, my son is October 6th. So when she saw it, I could tell by her face that she loved it and I felt a little bad so guess what I will be making another one so anyway let me show you on the screen how Heidi's looked and I'll show you uh, right after this how my look and how I made it it was it was a little bit tough and I did play with it but it turned out amazing so Anyway, if you would like to see what I what I have made and how I recreate those two amazing masterpieces, please continue watching. Okay, for this project we'll need a plunger from a Dollar Tree bucket. And I got hold on. One, two three, four, five, six, seven of this, um, oh, what do they call it? Maple leaves, um, from everything from a Dollar Tree. So, and you will, I will use a, a rope, a jute from, I have it leftovers, I'm trying to use it. The Dollar Tree has actually a really nice one. 
and then I will use this block of uh, floral foam to put it inside to secure so everything yes like I said will be from Dollar Tree and also in addition I'll be using a floral wire to secure my tree brought, uh, bouquets to the to the plunger so this is what we're going to be doing today Okay guys, for this project we need one plunger. I got it from the Dollar Tree. Then I got two pieces of uh, burlap material and they are 18 by 24. So I got it on Amazon. If I still have it in my order purchases, then I will link it in the description below if you wanna look it up. Then um, I had some felt. Well, no, I guess it's a material. I got it from one of those samples at the Walmart. They are either a dollar or close to a dollar and some buttons. Um, this is a stencils that I will be using. And again, all of those are decorated buttons that I picked up for my son. And you can decorate it uh, with whatever you feel like it. You don't have to recreate it exactly the same. So, But this is the material we will be using for this project. guys I had to pause and go iron both of my well I guess three of my pieces because as you can see in the prior clip they were so wrinkled that I cannot I could not put them together to try to glue it so I ironed both, both of them my burlap material and my little um, Walmart sample of my uh, decorated uh, it's not a felt it looks like a cotton material but this one what I'll do right now I'm gonna hot glue it all all over um, so it will be a lot thicker you could use it uh, by itself as a single sheet but I have watched in Heidi's video she got two pieces together so I decided that it's a pretty good idea and this is what I did I used my <laughs> Uh, little wooden stick from Dollar Tree because as you can tell my finger is still burned 
because the hot glue got me on my last project. So anyway, this is what I'm doing right now. Okay, so now I'm measuring my little material piece that I will be making pockets. And I did uh, two and a half by around five inches. So then I cut um, the whole thing. One square was enough. All that one sample that I got from Walmart was enough for the whole project. So I cut 30 squares because I didn't really need it the 31 since um, my son's birthday in October and September had only 30, but it's kind of shifted over because his birthday is October 6th, so he will be starting uh, his countdown on September 6th. So this is what I am doing right now, cutting it, measuring, and then we'll be gluing it to my um, mainframe of the countdown calendar. Okay, so all my squares are ready, as you can tell. And originally I was gonna use my Cricut iron-on, but then I realized that I didn't have uh, my vinyl for iron-on. So I used the felt to cut the, the wordings. And I think I did it too much. I put too much pressure. So uh, some of the letters come apart. So I had to glue them together. So be careful when you're using Cricut. Uh, don't put too much pressure, just leave it on the default. So, sorry, my camera didn't really want to focus on some point, but anyway, this is what I did, and you do not have, a, you do not have to have a Cricut. Uh, it probably will be easy to use the stencils, um, with the alphabet letters, and do it that way. But I am still learning with my Cricut machine. Okay, so as you can tell, I already fixed my wording. It took me a while and I didn't think you wanted to sit through it and watch me struggle with the letters, but it worked. So now what I will be doing, I will use my Beverly uh, chalk paint in the color white and my uh, number stencil to uh, slightly dab in the paint and then dab over the stencil so you can I can make my numbers for his countdown. So all the numbers are in and on the squares now we will be decorating the whole thing. So I will be using everything I got and since this this is buttons I used my little um, I don't know if those are the ply like a plier tool to get the backings off the buttons so that when I hot glue it, it would stick to the material pretty good. Well, that was all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am in love with both of those DIYs that I have created. Um, if you would like to see more DIYs in this kind of inspirational style, please click on the link in the description below. There's uh, quite a few people participating. I can't wait to go watch it. So, but for now, if you're one of my new people, please don't forget to click subscribe and give this video a like. This will really help me out. And also, let me know in the comments that you are my new uh, addition to my family so I can welcome you. And if you're one of my returning, thank you so much for coming back. Love you guys very much. And I will see you in the next one real soon. Bye.